Splitting of a vector into its components is known as resolution of vector. If we have a vector v in the xy plane of Cartesian coordinate system making an angle theta with the x axis, then we can split this vector into x and y components and this x and y component are known as components of vector v. This vector v is making a triangular shape with the x and y axis. Triangle ABC. And this is a right angle triangle because one of the angle is equal to 90 degrees. In this triangle, the vector v represents the hypotenuse. The side adjacent to the theta is the base and the side next to the theta is perpendicular. According to trigonometry, we know that cos theta is equal to base divided by hypotenuse. Solving this, we will have base is equal to hypotenuse times cos theta. The hypotenuse is the length or the magnitude of the vector v and theta is the angle of vector v with the x axis. So we have x is equal to v cos theta and this x is the x component of vector v. Similarly for the y component we will use the sin theta and we know that sin theta is equal to perpendicular divided by hypotenuse. Again here solving this we will have y is equal to v sin theta. So the components of vector v are x is equal to cos theta and the y component is y is equal to v sin theta. The x component shows the projection of vector v along the x axis where the y component shows the projection of vector v along the y axis. Now the vector v can be written in component form as v is equal to xi plus yj. i and j are the unit vectors. Now to determine vector v from its components, we will need two things. One is the magnitude of vector v and the angle theta it is making with the x-axis. Now for magnitude we will use Pythagorean theorem. According to the Pythagorean theorem, hypotenuse whole square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. Solving this we will have magnitude of vector v or vector v is equal to x square plus y square all under the root. Similarly, for the calculation of theta or the angle, we will use the tangent theta. We know that tangent theta is equal to perpendicular divided by base. Solving this for theta, we will have theta is equal to tangent inverse y divided by x. So we have determined the x component for vector v, y component for vector v, magnitude of vector v and the angle theta it is making with the x axis. That's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy video for more videos. Thank you.